Hi there. My name is Chris Group, and I am the CEO of Aesthetic Advisor Laser Academy. What we're going to be starting is a video lecture slash demonstration series. Um, at Aesthetic Advisor Laser Academy here in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, we teach people how to use cosmetic lasers. Um, so in order to benefit some of the learning process, what we've done is basically taken the different treatments, broken them down by body part, modality, laser, um, intense pulse light machine, whatever we're going to be using for that treatment, and give you not only a point of view from your point of view, but also a point of view from me, um, which is going to be called the Chris Cam. So in a few minutes when you see the first video, what you're going to be looking at is me with a super cool camera strapped to my head. Um, I'm going to look very Pocahontas-ish, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to allow you to see what I'm seeing um, so you'll be able to see some of the clinical reactions on the skin. And also you'll be able to see from your point of view. It's a really unique way of training in aesthetics and also in aesthetic lasers. And we're really happy to be able to bring this to you. So welcome. I hope that you enjoy these treatments and also that you learn quite a bit. Thanks. Hi there, this is Chris Group with Aesthetic Advisor Laser Academy and right now I am going to show you the Palomar Vectus 810 nanometer diode. This is used for hair reduction, hair reduction only. Um, it's a great wavelength for hair reduction on skin types 1 through 5. Um, if there's a really dark skin type 6, um, you can it's FDA approved for it, but I'm not sure uh, you know, if I would use it. Um, that's on a really, really dark skin type 6, but I'm having really great success on 1 through 5. And I want to show you a little bit about the uh, display so you kind of know what I'm doing. Now, you can use the skin tell with this, um, which is the melanin uh, reader index. But I'm just going to set it up without the skin tell, show you exactly if I had a client come in what I would be doing. So right here, we've got four different uh, sections. So we've got quadrants. We've got skin type, hair color, hair diameter, and hair density. So let's say I'm working on a skin type three, okay? And the hair color is dark brown, and the diameter is medium. And I've already done a couple of treatments on this person. Let's say I'm doing an underarm. So our hair density is medium. We pick those parameters, hit next, and it tells us what our pulse duration, which is the time, the milliseconds, and what our fluid should be. So how much energy spread out over how much time. This is a great tool um, in doing hair reduction because the machine kind of does a lot of the thinking for you. Um, not saying that your own brain shouldn't override anything if you think the clinical reaction after doing your test spot isn't appropriate, but it's a really great tool. So we've got our hertz rate, how fast we're going to fire it. We're going to turn it to medium, 1.0 hertz. Um, if we were at slow, it would be 0.5. If it was fast, it'd be 3. Now, I've been doing this for a super long time, like almost 10 years. And 3 hertz, by the way, is too fast for me, which means it's probably going to be too fast for you. You never want your hertz rate, which is how fast it's firing, like beep, 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 faster than what your skill set is. I feel more comfortable at one hertz that way if the person makes a little move jumps a little bit i can always um, basically pull my hand off of the trigger my finger off the trigger we've got our count over here now the max pulse this is going to tell us whether um, we're going to be doing our settings ourselves or if we're going to have the machine do our settings and then our optic we've got a small and a large this has two different hand pieces i'm going to show you the small one which is 10 by i'm sorry 12 by 12 millimeters and the large one right here is 23 by 38, I believe, um, is the size of that one. This is great for really large treatment areas, backs, chest, abdomen, legs, things like that. I've got the small hand piece in because I'm going to be doing uh, somebody's axilla, which is their underarm. And when the machine is turned off, I will show you how to uh, look at that. But it is a laser. I can't point it at the camera, so we're going to wait. So down here we've got our standby and our ready mode. When I hit ready, the machine is ready to fire. Standby is when I'm not using it. This is how we keep from misfiring. Misfiring means you fire by accident. We don't want to fire by accident 
because whatever you hit is going to take that absorption. So if you fire by accident on your uh, client's uh, black bra, you're putting a hole in the bra and you're buying them a new bra. So we always put our machine in standby until we are ready to fire. When I'm ready to go, I will hit ready and the machine's ready to fire. I'm gonna hit standby again and it's gonna go into a standby mode. Um, so this is the basic uh, treatment parameters that I'm going to be using for my client. And in a second, I'm gonna turn the system off and then I'm just gonna show you the hand piece. So we're gonna turn the system off. So the system is shutting down, okay? And I'm gonna bring my hand piece into this area so you can see it. So it looks kind of like a, a space gun. Okay, this is the spot size is 12 by 12 millimeters. This is my trigger, so when I pull down on the trigger, it fires the hand piece. And this is my ready button on top of here. So when I have my ready button and I press this, it turns blue and it lets me know I can fire it. So this is a great hand piece for axillas, when I do Brazilians, when I do a face, upper lip, things like that, because it's very, very small. So this is the Palomar Vectus. 810 nanometer diode hair removal laser for hair reduction and my name is Chris Group and I'm with Aesthetic Advisor Laser Academy and I look forward to showing you the treatments that we can do with the Vectus. Okay so we are going to be doing our clients axilla hair reduction and what we always want to make sure safety comes before anything else that we do. So we have the glasses on our client that are appropriate for this wavelength of laser, which is an 810 diode. Um, I also like to take a hand towel and drape over the side of her head. Um, you want to make sure she can breathe. That's kind of important. Um, but this just adds a little bit more safety because now we don't have to worry about her hair. Um, yes, you can cut somebody's hair off with a laser and not in a good way. Um, and also it covers any type of gap that may be right between the glasses and the face. So she's ready to go. We've already set up our laser parameters as I showed you earlier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some gel and I am going to put it on the back of my hand. Um, some people like to use a tongue depressor with this. Um, I've always used the back of my hand. You can do whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to take a little bit of gel and I'm going to put it down where she has a little bit of target, which if you can see is right there and right there. Now, because I'm doing hair reduction, the target is actually a hair. I know it's kind of uh, crazy like that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my test spot and make sure that it's appropriate for her skin, the fluence and the pulse duration is appropriate for her skin. Um, I have done treatments on her before. She doesn't have as much target as she would if it was maybe a first or second treatment. But what I'm going to do is I am going to come over and grab my hand piece. Wrist strap always goes on your wrist before you take the hand piece out. Um, that's really, really important um, because these hand pieces are incredibly expensive. I'm going to put my machine into a ready mode. Now on this machine, and we always point the hand piece down, we never ever point it at our client. Um, I'm going to press this button right here. See how it turned blue? That means that it's ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right on top of this target and do one pulse. Now. What I am smelling for is the, what I call the smell of success. Um, and I do smell it. I'm sure my client smells it too. Uh, what this is basically is the hair and the follicle burning. Um, it's not her skin burning. Um, it is the hair. It's a good clinical endpoint. Now, one of the things I'm also looking for is erythema, which is redness around the area. A little bit of erythema is okay. A lot of erythema is too much. Um, so while we are waiting for this, I'm going to put the ultrasound gel on the rest of the area. And then we're going to begin in just a minute. Now, my client here is a, a very tiny person. <laughs> and so this area right through here is kind of concave. Um, you have a couple of options. You can have her take her hand on the outside of her breast and pull back this way. Or if she has a towel drape like this, you could also do this. 
All right, you want to flatten it out as much as you can because this handpiece, which is cold, you want the cold going into the skin to protect the epidermis. The energy is going actually down to the dermis where the hair follicle is, where the stem cells around that um, uh, hair follicle is. So our energy is going to be going into the dermis, but we still have to protect the epidermis. Now she is very light skin. She's actually a skin type one. Um, so she doesn't have a lot of pigment to compete in her skin with the pigment in the hair follicle, but we still want to make sure that she doesn't get too red. So she is ready to go. I'm going to engage my handpiece once more. Whenever I'm not using my handpiece, I take it out of the ready mode. The reason we do that is it helps keep you from misfiring, which is not a good thing. So I'm going to do one pulse, two pulse, and one more. And then I'm going to ask my client on a scale of one to ten, one meaning I don't feel anything, ten meaning oh my goodness, make it stop. Where are you at? Two. Okay, so she's at a two. That's a really good um, end point for me pain-wise. If she was a three or a four, I'd still be okay. If she was at maybe a seven, um, I would stop what I was doing and I would reevaluate what I'm doing because you shouldn't feel that much pain with hair reduction, especially this machine is really, really comfortable with the cooling system. So if she was at a seven or eight, I would probably think that my fluence, which is how much energy is coming out, is either too high or maybe she's had some unexpected sun exposure that is causing the pain. Now this is in her underarm. She's not on a tanning bed. Um, so I would probably guess it wouldn't be sun exposure. It would probably be too much fluence. But she's at a two. That's fine. So now what we're going to do, you can see a little bit of redness, by the way, in this area, erythema, and that's okay. We're going to engage our handpiece again. I'm going to stretch out the skin and I'm going to move my handpiece through the area. Now, sometimes when this handpiece is up here, I like to brace it with my finger and that's okay too. How are you doing? So I'm going to come back up here. Now I'm getting close to my original test spots. Since I got a reaction from her skin on that, I'm going to jump over it. You want to make sure you tell your client this because sometimes they think, hey, you just missed a spot. And it's like, hey, no, I didn't. I already got that. So I've got a couple more little areas to do. Now this spot size is 12 by 12 millimeter. It's a great spot size for smaller areas. Um, there is also a very large spot size that goes on this handpiece to cover very large areas. Now if we look at it, I'm going to put this back and then we're going to look at the area one more time. So I'm going to put my handpiece back in. I'm going to put the strap on of it. That will keep it from falling out. And I'm going to look at the area. So you can see a few of these little hairs have popped out, kind of exploded out of the hair follicle. That's a great clinical reaction. She's got a little tiny bit of what we call PFE. The P stands for peri, which means around. F stands for follicular, the follicle. And E stands for edema, which is swelling. So what we're looking for as another clinical endpoint is swelling around the hair follicle. Very large coarse hairs will be a larger bump and it almost looks like a little mosquito bite around that hair follicle. Very fine hairs will have a very small bump. That's a great clinical reaction. A little bit of redness is a good clinical reaction. That smell of success that we were getting, another great clinical reaction. So basically, when we look at the area, you can see little tiny bumps okay that's the PFE we see a little bit of erythema so what this is telling me is she's going to get a great clinical reaction from this okay so a good treatment but we've done it safely we don't have too much redness we don't have too much bumping we don't have a lot of pain with a client this is what we're trying to achieve a safe effective treatment safety always overrides everything we do but you also have to be effective because if you don't get rid of the hair, um, your client's not coming back, nor is she or he going to recommend you to anyone else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wipe the area clear of the ultrasound gel. Okay. Um, you can use a baby wipe, alcohol free um, is what you would want to use, or maybe a four by four, which is a four by four piece of cotton that's dampened. Um, anything that's, you know, soft, moist, is going to wipe off 
uh, this area. If she was excessively red or had a lot of the PFE bumps, I'd probably put a little bit of maybe a 1% over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream down and then an ice pack down on it and just cool the tissue down a little bit. But this is a perfect clinical reaction for an axilla with hair reduction and so she's going to be good to go.